we enter into a covenant that we shall build the society in which all South Africans, both black and white, will be able to walk tall without any fear in their hearts. A rainbow nation at peace with itself and the world. I feel like South Africa, it's like the mecca of creativity around the world now. It's like the music that's coming out of your work, the art, the fashion, it's a great place to be. South Africa today, it's like kind of a wild west scenario where people don't trust each other in a sense. It looks so relaxed and it looks so beautiful and tranquil, but I think under the surface there's a storm brewing. Issues around race, issues around trust, trust in our government are, are things that we as South Africans are still unpacking to this day. Are you either for the majority black party or you're for the minority white party? So if you, if you have that divide between white people and black people, the ANC will stay in power. Bit by bit, we're seeing our, our freedoms, which were fought for, being taken away by the very same grouping of people that apparently fought for it. And then the shit hit the fan, I suppose. We are here to defend the dignity of the ANC. The controversial painting of President Jacob Zuma has, in fact, been defaced. It was on everybody's lips. Everybody was talking about it. If you carry on with this, we're going to kill you. These kinds of words were used. People mustn't dream of freedom of expression. People must live and express freely. We were just used as political pawns in a much, much bigger game. You're in a country where everything needs to be fought for before you can get it. There were public calls for me to be stoned to death and not a word from the state. So where is the government? What is the government? Who is the government? When does he, she comes to me to rescue me.